welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome thank you so so much for joining us if you've never seen my face before then my name's Olivia and I post videos every Saturday and also on Thursdays hopefully it's not too dark it is later than I'd usually film and it is quite a bit darker than I would normally film and also I feel like the camera is wonky so I'm just gonna pause and check see how this looks okay I have just changed the camera angle a little bit and I feel like it's still wonky but fingers crossed it's not and I'm really really sorry if it is. Today I thought I would show you some different date outfits for like different dates if that makes sense. Hopefully as I go through this video you'll understand what I mean and hopefully I will have thought of a title that will make this make sense so you know what you're getting in for. But we'll start off with this dress that I'm currently wearing. This first date outfit is a kind of brunch date outfit. So we've just got a little pink dress, it's got a floral press pattern on it and it has got this weird like hole detail that I don't really like. If, I think I might do like a DIY and just kind of tuck it in or even if it had like some lace around the edge instead, so just like a lace trim, I think that would make it look a lot better. It does have little belt loops and obviously I don't currently have a belt on because I just quite like the way that it hangs naturally. But if I DIY the neckline, then I also might try and take it in a little bit. I'm not very, I'm not very talented in the sewing department, so we'll see how that goes. But one thing I do absolutely love about this dress is the sleeves. I think they're so pretty, just the quite like big sleeves and the way that they fall in that kind of old-fashioned way with a more like flute sleeve I think that's really pretty and I absolutely love the material it's just a kind of like shift material is that a material it's polyester and elastane pretty much everything is polyester and elastane if I don't know what it is it's polyester and elastane but this is my first little outfit for the brunch date so this next outfit is for like a coffee date obviously cafes and stuff are starting to open up again so I think this outfit would be perfect if you're going on like a little coffee date post lockdown. I've obviously got this little tweed skirt on with these really gorgeous gold buttons and I've just paired it with a grey bodysuit. So it's quite a simple outfit but I thought it was really cute for like a coffee date. And this is one way that I would style this skirt in a more like summery way because obviously this is a more autumnal skirt so it would look really nice with a turtleneck. Obviously, if you if it is a colder day in the summer, then absolutely wear a turtleneck. But if it was a warmer day, then I would go for a bodysuit like this one. Just quite open, quite casual. I've gone with grey because I thought that it went really nicely with the colours in this skirt. The skirt does have quite a few different colours kind of woven through it. I feel like neutral colours like grey, white, black would work perfectly with the skirt. I would also potentially wear a red bodysuit with this skirt but that might be a little bit too overpowering with the red in the skirt and obviously just like cafes have reopened, shops have started to reopen and shopping centres so this little outfit would be perfect for a shopping date. I would pair this with just like cute little white shoes, um, like white trainers or something just to kind of make it a little bit more casual. Obviously this top is satin so it can look a little bit more fancy i guess but i think that with just these ripped jeans you know quite oversized mum jeans i think that it kind of casuals it down and it's like the perfect outfit for just like a cute little shopping date and it's really easy to chuck on really comfortable to wear easy to move in which is perfect for a date like that obviously not only have cafes and shops opened but also pubs and restaurants have started to open and so for a date night if I was going out for dinner or something in a restaurant or a pub I would wear something a little bit more like this if you've watched some of my other videos you might know that this is actually a dress tucked into jeans but I really love the way that this looks these sleeves I'm absolutely obsessed with and I just really like this kind of wrap style at the front if I was going out for dinner I might like pin this a little bit closer just so that when you're like sat down and stuff you don't spill out but I really like the way that this looks 
And I think if you are going somewhere where you wanted to wear heels, you could easily pair this with heels, but at the same time you could casual it down and wear like some black Vans or Doc Martens, my two favourite shoes, as we all know, and that would just be the perfect outfit for a dinner date. This is obviously the kind of dobby material, really sheer on the sleeves, which I absolutely love, and these big sleeves are absolutely gorgeous. This kind of crossing over detail makes it look like a wrap top which I think is why it works so well tucked into jeans even though it is a dress but obviously if you don't have this particular dress you could just as easily get a wrap top that looks similar or just has the similar kind of vibe to it there's always loads and loads on Depop so go and check those out and just in case anyone was wondering this is what the dress looks like as a dress this isn't actually one of the outfits I was going to show in this video but I thought you might be interested in seeing what it looks like as a dress rather than being tucked into jeans. You might know I also have it in black and it's from Boohoo if you did want to buy it. Obviously I am trying to step away from fast fashion brands but there's absolutely no pressure on you to do the same thing but I would urge you to check Depop before buying from fast fashion brands. And then we do have another wrap dress for the next date, which is a picnic date. So naturally I've paired it with my go-to wicker bag to kind of imitate a little picnic basket. I would definitely pair this with some little white Converse or similar shoes to Converse. And I think that would look really sweet, let's say sweet, for like a picnic date. I absolutely love the sleeves on this dress as well. We're all about the sleeves in today's video apparently. I just love the detail and the detail is also replicated on the hem of this dress. It ties up nicely on the side here and obviously just crosses over in the front. This would look really nice with just some layered necklaces or just a simple necklace just to kind of accentuate the V neckline. So this video idea did actually come about because I'm going to the zoo tomorrow so that brings me onto my zoo outfit. I really love this dress because it kind of gives me safari vibes but it is just a lot more interesting compared to your more stereotypical safari outfits where, where they would be more neutral colours like beiges and I think this lilac colour just really looks good and would look amazing as a zoo date outfit. My boyfriend doesn't actually like this colour so that brings me on to the next outfit which of course involves lilac again because just because your boyfriend doesn't like something doesn't mean you shouldn't wear it. Now this outfit was supposed to be a kind of crazy golf mini golf outfit. Obviously in an ideal world I would wear Kylie's little Chanel set that she wore in this picture right here but unfortunately one that wouldn't be very practical and two I really cannot afford that but coming back to this outfit I really don't think this outfit is practical now I've put it on so I would probably pair it with like a different top instead but I really like the white jeans white top and the little lilac cardigan combination that we've got going on. This cardigan actually used to be my mum's so just because cardigans are on trend now and lilac is a trendy colour doesn't mean that you have to go out and spend loads of money on ones from fast fashion websites. You can easily get them from your mum, charity shops, Depop, all these great places and obviously if you steal your mum's clothes you don't have to pay for them. So that is my little tip from this video. I hope you've learned something. Thank you so so much for watching. If you've made it this far you're obviously dedicated so please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You know you want to and it really means a lot to me and I will see you all next week for a brand new video.